is up guys welcome back to my channel so today we are gonna react to garrett watt's new video overnight in a haunted theater i love garrett i loved him um i know him when like he was friends with shane dawson same with andrew like andrew and him were friends with shane dawson shit went down so they do their own things um i i love him if i had if you have to ask me who really inspired me for, like, YouTube and just to be me, it's scared. Um, again, I love the things he does. Um, I wish I had that much conf confidence in being myself. I like that. But, so I get in there. But, back I was like, my mom, my mom came in, so we we're trying to, we we're just talking about stuff. So, but like I was saying, um, <laughs> we're gonna jump into it, we're gonna watch, we're gonna see what I like. Uh, <laughs> also, there's, oh, sorry, I like to do horror stuff. Um, Sam and Colby, the boys, Garrett, love. But, I got, I got snacks. I gotta come up with this. You have my snacks ready. You have to have snacks when you're when you're watching Garrett. If you're not eating snacks, what the, what the fuck are you doing? You no. Know? <laughs> so, let's <laughs> jump right into it. Things were getting really bad in there until this thing got installed. Because it keeps the lights on the theater so that they can perform. So when it's dark in there, they get really mad. I'm just gonna say this quickly. That gave me the chills. Give me the utter <gasps> of it's about to get good. <laughs> I don't know. Every time they do an intro, it's like it gives you that hypeness and it just it draws you in. And it's like, dude, it's about to be good. It's about to be good. It's you know it's gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> No, you continue. You're not supposed to be here. Otis, lights are off. You want to say hello? <laughs> hello. Um, so, I, I want to tell you right up front that something happens in this video, or rather, in this location, that I can safely say is a first for this channel. And it would really rob you of the discovery of it to just tell you. You could really only truly learn what this mystery element is by going along on the ride with my friend Andrew Sawicki and I, as we both discovered this unusual thing for ourselves in real time within this beautiful but terrifying theater. But first, how did little old me find myself overnight in this very special location in Washington? Well, as many of you know, I'm in Washington a lot, and I've shot in so many incredible haunted locations there. But as long as I've been researching haunted locations in Washington, there has always been one location that comes up on every list time and time and time and time again, and that is the Fox Theater. But not just that, also one name tied to this theater. One very famous ghost, apparently, named Otis. And to understand Otis and the many other spirits that are said to haunt the Fox Theater, you have to understand this theater's wild past. Also, oh my god, would you just like stop for one second trying to sneak a peek of this tasteful Benjamin, Benjamin. Uh, crew neck that I'm wearing? Okay, since you're making a big deal out of it, yeah, sure, okay? <laughs> it drops today over on thingsbygarrett.com and I guess technically it's available, you know, right now. Okay, but just more on that after the video. Can we just focus, okay? You're being rude. <laughs> okay, right, sorry, creepy. <laughs> So this absolutely iconic, beautiful Art Deco theater was built in 1931 in downtown Spokane in the absolute darkest days of the Great Depression. And it's called the Fox because it was built by 20th Century Fox, that, that Fox. And it was built specifically to be one of the most stunning theaters in America to give people a bright spot in an extremely dark time. Every inch of it was dripping in lavish Art Deco details, floor to ceiling murals, gorgeous custom made glass, no expense was spared in its construction and the result being that the popularity of this place was absurd. It hosted everything from lavish movie premieres with some of the most famous people in the world at the time.
time to vaudeville shows, uh, orchestral concerts, and almost every form of mainstream entertainment imaginable, including being retrofitted to become like a pretty normal movie theater through the 70s and 80s and 90s. In short, the legacy of the Fox Theater was bringing countless hundreds of thousands of people, maybe some of the happiest moments of their lives, for decades. Until, of course, it wasn't. Because by the early 2000s, after 70 years of operation, it was deemed far too expensive to maintain. And the Fox Theater, all this beauty, all this legacy, was slated for complete demolition to make way for, brace yourselves, a parking lot. That That's heartbreaking and real. But long story short for the theater, turns out to be a happy ending. Because 70 years and 31 million dollars later, after a non-stop grueling seven year renovation, the Fox Theater reopened in 2007 after being saved by the Spokane Symphony. Hell yeah instruments. But as we have learned many times on this channel now, spirits sometimes tend to have a very complex and often physical response to their environments and their homes being changed. And in that seven year renovation, apparently the spirits in the Fox Theater did not make life easy for the construction workers trying to restore it, particularly a ghost named Otis. It is said that Otis was part of the original construction crew of the theater uh, back in the 1930s. And Otis unfortunately met his end by tragically falling to his death from the catwalk above the stage of the Fox Theater. Where legend has it, of course, he remains to this very day. And Otis became a legend for causing trouble during the renovation. Lots of things started happening, said Fox Theater board member Wendy Stark. We had a lot of workers who came in and didn't believe in that stuff, and after the project, they left as believers because we had many things and tools going missing, lights going on and off, doors locking, and just a lot of things that could not be explained. And this haunting got so intense that the theater was actually forced to react. So the Fox Theater, after researching the lore of a lot of other haunted theaters around the world, actually resorted to installing something called a ghost light. That ghost light on stage helps keep Otis at bay. Now, what on earth is a ghost light? That was yeah, my question what? exactly, and I'll that? tell you it's just as cool as it sounds. So much to my amazement, I learned that a ghost light is a simple light that's meant to stay on all night long, located on the stage of the theater to make the ghosts of the theater feel seen and respected. And apparently, these exist in theaters all around the world. Because I guess theaters are just very highly concentrated emotional grounds that spirits really like to return to. Because I mean, you're not wrong. A theater, you're gonna be emotional, you're gonna have all these feelings. Yeah, I never knew that. That's kind of cool. There is a theater here in Arizona in Phoenix that's a haunted theater that I really do want to go check out. And I really want to see if they have one too. Because that would be interesting to know if do, do you have like a ghost light? Do you do that? That's so, that's so fucking interesting. You don't really get to know stuff like this until you're like, watching someone else's video and you're like wow and it's crazy how many workers went in like ah whatever oh they're just pranking us to believers that ha this ha it must have been like like non-stop activity for them to come out as believers and for like the board to say that heavy activity that would be like almost like daily on a daily basis like every day something's happening to be that powerful that's so insane but it's also very interesting like i said the theater is going to be the one place that besides you know a, a hospital of course a hospital has lots of emotions too or like a, a grave site the theater you're gonna express every emotion but still it's still insane Oh God! Because we know, you know, if you believe in ghosts, uh, that spirits return to the places that made them happiest in life. And to me, that makes sense that both performers and patrons alike would return to a theater where they probably had some of their happiest years ever. And remember, the Fox Theater was specifically built in the midst of the Great Depression just to give people happiness. So needless to say, this place has a reputation of being very occupied, hence 
the ghost light. But despite the theater's attempts to calm the ghosts, over the past 93 years and to this very day, people have told countless stories about its many, many hauntings. Reports of people seeing full apparitions sitting in the theater's seats, roaming the halls. People have reported unexplained sounds at night, of disembodied voices and footsteps from above the theater and the catwalks. People have reported hearing whispers in both the backstage area and the bathrooms. And perhaps most eerily to me is reports of instruments being played that they hear from the lobby, but the second they walk into the theater, totally vanishes. <laughs> the list goes on and on. Cold spots, random taps on people's shoulders, and a lot of other activities that are just commonly associated with very haunted places. But, and I shouldn't get so excited about this, but I am. I am a man who is obsessed with ancient subterranean environments. Like haunted basements and hellish never-ending tunnels that just descend into darkness. I can't get enough of them. And my favorite detail in researching the lore of the Fox Theater is the rumor of the theater containing an entrance to a century-old boot legging tunnel system that snakes its way beneath downtown Spokane. And apparently it got hidden or sealed off during the renovation in the name of safety. <laughs> sealed off for safety, who cares? Do you have any idea how many horrifying particulates my body has consumed over the years of exploring haunted locations? Black mold, asbestos? Oh, what's it gonna do, shave a couple years off my life? Big deal, just let me in the spooky tunnels. I should probably see a doctor. Anyways, I was hell-bent on discovering this secret entrance. Lastly, uh, when one of the things I read is that also the projection room is supposed to be one of the most haunted locations in the theater. Oh, and say, speaking of graceless seg- What the fuck? <laughs> There's no shot! My brother's fan just turned on. Cause it was playing the like the clip like what was it in the name of safety <laughs> sealed off for safety who cares do you have any idea how many horrifying particulates my body has consumed over the years of exploring haunted locations black mold asbestos oh what's it gonna do shave a couple years off my life big deal just let me in the spooky tunnels i should probably see a doctor anyways i was hell-bent on discovering this secret entrance lastly uh one of the things i read is that also the projection room yeah so this with this came up and did like a clicking noise the fan turned on I know that fan was off when I entered like it was hot cause I was gonna turn it on like midway through this this is not the first time this happened I'm t so I hope Garrett watches this but we were watching another video of them when they were in Washington and they were exploring like the upstairs area of a shop because they, they they were friends with these with this lady who like takes care of like the hospital and another place and she owns a little store and on top there's like an empty building and it's very haunted. Um, me and partner were watching that video. I kid you not, we were watching it, and when it was the part where like, the kid, or, like there was, it was a kid, like being in them with Gary and Andrew, I have this little thing of squishmallows. Boom, just falls. And all of a sudden, when they're on, something like, tugs like the blanket off me. And I'm like, what the heck, what? The frick. It's crazy because yesterday me and my partner were downstairs and we've been sleeping downstairs, you know, getting out of the room. But um we were downstairs and like we were just chilling, we were like watching like, we were watching a movie and then mom has like little curtains thing hanging up there. It falls. And <laughs> my partner makes it like, oh, I'm sorry, I offended you, you know, because we're making a joke about the movie, you know? Uh, no, we, 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 we were watching Transformers. We were tra watching the Transformer Beast Mammals show from the 2090s. Uh, and it fell, so we fix it, and it falls again. 
like it's it's like it's secured and shit. Like it should not be able to fall, but it falls. It hasn't happened since. After that, it hasn't happened since. But it was like I was like, huh. So when this thing turned on, oh, heart attack. Oh God, I. It's, it's crazy how it only happens when I watch Garrett. Now I do keep in mind my apartment is a little haunted. It has been cleansed a few times. I've been cleansed because I've been told you bring spirits with you. You're bringing them in. You're attracting them. And I'm like, oh. Oh, well. So I'm not surprised if another thing followed me and came here. Um, so. But that's scary. Anyways, the Fox Theater, apparently so haunted. So obviously, before going in, for me, so much of this place was shrouded in mystery. After everything I had passively seen or learned about it, I was very intrigued. And I have been for years, because again, I saw this all the time on like haunted Washington lists and that sort of thing on the internet. And I had always wanted to get inside of it, but I often approach haunted locations like I do dating. And the Fox Theater, if I'm being honest, just seemed too fancy and too pretty and just out of my league. After all, it's a very classy estate establishment and a functioning business. Why would they let me in there? But do you know what never occurred to me? Is that I could just send an email asking them if I could explore it at night. I was basically like, yo, can I get in there at night? And they were like, sure, lol. <laughs> well, they didn't say lol. I added that. But they were really chill about it. And maybe the Fox Theater was curious to know what was going on in there as well. I know I certainly was. <laughs> so luckily Andrew and I were already in town for a couple video shoots. So we rented an Airbnb down the street and set out to get into the theater that very night. And boy did we. And we learned something, which we will talk more about after the experience. So enjoy the journey of us setting out to discover the truth about one of Washington's most haunted locations. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Welcome to downtown Spokane. And I, Andrew, did you do that? No. I almost tripped you hurt my ass. Welcome <laughs> to downtown Spokane. Oh, oh. A place that's extremely haunted. Just, just, we just give it a beat, Andrew. Sorry. It's fine. Just cut the camera. We'll Alright, sorry about that. Welcome to downtown Spokane. I got access to a location called the Fox Theater. Theater? How do you say that word? Mm -hmm. Which is something I've read about for years and it's really exciting. Okay, between you and I, I can't believe that they're letting us get in there. And I need to tell you more about it. Um, let's go to the room. Wait, a little Airbnb tour though. Fridge, cabinets, bathroom, come on. Music. And then you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm triangulating the location to the tunnels underneath the Fox Theater. All right, sorry, I was a stupid bit. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna go meet the employees, Andrew, at the Fox Theater in a second, and look what I've done. I'm gonna butter them up with pastries to get them to give us information. You can just ask them, probably. Now, Andrew, people need buttering up. You gotta understand how what humans are like. Although, I've already started getting to that Ooh. one. <laughs> a lot of bites on <laughs> A lot of bites. Look at that, you see that? Oh. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <coughs> okay, so I've got the spooky box down in the car. I got a ton of supplies in here. And I need to tell you everything that I learned last night about this theater. And did you know that I didn't sleep in a, 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 a week? I didn't know that, but that makes sense. <sighs> I'm sorry, everything. Yeah. Waiting? Come on, Andrew. Let me tell you what I've learned. Oh. What? Oh. What happened? Dude, that like broke like three floors. It wasn't that big. It wasn't big of a deal, was it? I think it was. Oh, I paid so much for a deposit for this room. Is it okay? Nope. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Did I do that? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh. Ugh. <laughs> it's just the cold climate, Andrew. I'm gonna let the room air out after that. <laughs> I bought it. Pull it in. Andrew, we don't have time. We gotta get to the Fox Theater. It's haunted. Stop 
looking at my tasteful 90s Benjamin sweatshirt, Andrew. Come on, stop it. Do you want to film me over there in a cute position? <laughs> like this? Wait, I'm serious. Does this look cool? Um... I'm not trying to be funny. I want this to feel cool. Uh, well, you're wearing... What? what? Does it look scary? You're wearing, like, candy and gemstones <laughs> on your sleeve, and you're, you know, doing this teenage girl thing with your legs. And That's not teenage girl things, Andrew. Anyone can do this with their legs. Even guys who are 73. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay, listen. Sound like bronchitis. I don't have bronchitis. I think I might have bronchitis. I was looking at the symptoms of it last night. I've got most of them. Is that contagious? We're fine. No, but actually, I'm glad that you said this wasn't scary because that reminds me, I do need to change into my haunted exploration garb before we go. I'll sit up on the bed, sorry. <laughs> Now, but let me tell you just a couple things that I learned last night, Andrew, and, and then and then I'll talk, but we'll get more into it in the theater. Okay, listen, that's actually just a prop. The computer's just to make it look more official. I don't need that. It's on my phone. Ow! Are you okay? <laughs> We're pathetic. All right, listen, Andrew, I'm just going to give you a general idea. This theater is ancient. It was built in 19, wait, 1931? That's not that old. <laughs> I thought it was like 18 something. Dude, the activity, I mean, uh, Sorry. Oh. Every single time I read about Haunted Spokane, because you know I'm always reading about haunted stuff, it's just Fox Theater, Fox Theater, Fox Theater, Fox Theater. But there have been, any, any, time of, any, any type of haunted any activity you could think of would be happening in this theater. There have been reports of haunted apparitions, people saying ghostly figures in the theaters, particularly literally in the auditorium and backstages, unexplained sounds, disembodied voices, Andrew, happening right over people's shoulders. This one woman said that one time she heard something in the bathroom and she went to respond to her friend and guess what she was. Gasping for air. Not there. Uh, not there, she was alone. Backstage whispers from the ghosts of old performers, people are talking, saying, people back. <laughs> Sorry. I can't talk right now. Unexplained touches. People will be in there and this kind Whoa. of thing, Andrew. Um, who the crap was that? And turn around, guess what? Nobody. But isn't that crazy, creepy? <sighs> Sorry, the coffee's just really coursing through my brain right now. There's a whole thing, which I'll get into in the theater, about a ghost light that's in there, apparently, because of the ghostly performers and stuff, and things were getting really bad in there until this thing got installed. Oh, Andrew, technical glitches out the ass. So you better get ready for that with your camera. Otis? Apparently Otis is a huge thing. A man named Otis that haunts the halls. The guy who built the theater is supposed to be still roaming around in there. Although he never interacts with people, apparently. Apparently he just looks at details in the theater. My right, this eye itches. Oh. And what I am most excited about in this theater from all the research that I've done, and I don't even know if this exists, so this is really tricky, but I have read so much for years and years and years about this network of tunnels underneath the city of Spokane that I hear are underneath the Fox Theater that connect to a whole bunch of other like terrifying locations. They're supposed to be haunted as hell. And apparently there's an entrance to these tunnels under the Fox Theater. But when I went to ask the employee about it, who's going to give us access to it tonight, guess what? She said, she said, I don't know anything about that. Now, maybe she didn't know anything about that, and maybe they're not real. Or my theory is that she's being cagey intentionally to try to keep me out of them. <laughs> This, I'm excited about the grand haunted theater we're about to enter, but I'm also really excited about potentially finding these tunnels. Andrew, imagine we find a whole network of haunted tunnels underneath this haunted theater, and then we're running around them tonight, and we pop up in God knows where. <gasps> and we get arrested, and we get thrown in prison. <laughs> and we have to watch each other's backs. Sounds like terrible. I'd shank someone for you. What? Thanks, I guess. Ah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but we're about 18 minutes behind, so we gotta go meet them at the theater. I did as much research as I could last night, but I think we're gonna get all what we really need to know from the actual theater and maybe some of the employees will talk to us I'm bringing them pastries after all true oh dude you give me pastries I'll spill on anything you want I'll tell you anything <laughs> all right let's get our supplies and head on over there <laughs> I think I'm sick yeah I told you about the pastries? Yeah. I've got other stuff. Okay. Stuff that they want. I'm gonna get what I need. Jeez. <laughs> Back up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I almost feel like I look too cool. Are you ready? Let's go. Stop dilly dallying. Come on, Andrew, let's go. <laughs> I can't with one way. 
streets. <laughs> Bus. <laughs> No, it's <laughs> pretty nice actually. Yeah. Okay. You want to say that? No. I was just gonna see if you were if you were for ready. For what? The haunting of the Fox Theater. Oh, sure. Let's just leave. Let's let the title card do the heavy lifting, make it seem scarier. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Are you coming? No. I <laughs> Beauty and the Beast TikTok. Give me a moment. I've been seeing some cool stuff. Just give me a second. <laughs> like it's a transformation. Didn't see it. You see, he turned into the prince. We gotta get in there. All right. <laughs> Wait till I tell the employees at the Fox Theater about that. <laughs> Andrew, you see? No one's gonna steal the spooky, bo the spooky box this time because I put a blanket over it. Yeah, okay. Right, let's get in there. Oh, you gotta close the actual what? The hatch. I thought you had the keys. I thought you had the keys. I'm sorry. I thought I had the keys. Ugh, oh. well, I thought you were, you're not gonna bring the spooky box? No, it's broken. Oh. Two of the wheels are off it now. I'll come back. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's gonna maybe turn into the spooky bag. You've seen me try to lift that thing. True. Oh, I need to text her that I'm here. It's the whole theater right here. It's a big ass building. It's big. I've only seen a couple photos of the inside, like barely. I don't know the scale of it or size. And if it's That's small, it's still gonna be spooky. It looks huge. Look, is that it? That's a lot of fear to explore, huh? Yeah. A lot of ghosts. That could fit a lot. That, that could fit a lot of ghosts in there. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. How's it going? Right oh, perfect. Okay, all right. That's a bit. Hey. Okay, you know, maybe answering a couple questions on camera. Nice. Are any of you like okay, you know, maybe answering a couple questions on camera? Oh my goodness. And then this will get you in the two lobby doors. But let me double check that this is the right one really quick. Yeah. I will say out here. Damn. Coming down with something, probably your ass gave it to me. No, I did it. I'm healthy as a horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, she's uh, she's about to give me the key. Maybe find some employees we can talk to about some scary experiences. Oh, yeah, let's ask Matt. Oh, yeah. He doesn't know anything. There is the key. Oh, I'll never know why people trust me with these. <laughs> it's never gone well. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, do you have any spooky stories about this place you want to share on camera? I don't know, I should call my mother. Oh, really? You should, she's 90. Oh, cool. <laughs> she's been coming here for 90 years. You're on speaker with a... With a ghost, a bona fide ghost hunter. Um... What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be overnight here in the Fox Theater, and I was wondering if you'd ever had any spooky experiences in this place, or know anything about it that makes it seem so creepy for people. Oh, okay. it switched wait, wait, to the wait, AirPods. To so just uh, if you press wait, that. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, did that. <laughs> Have you had any creepy experiences here in the Fox Theater? I don't think so. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> the underground stuff from the Davenport Hotel. Yeah, I've heard a lot of whispers of haunted tunnels underneath this place. Well, you know, there was a lot of whispers about it. That, that must go back to the 20s, and I don't know anything about it because Mother never talked about it, and I never had any... I, I didn't have any at all. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's actually really comfortable in there, safe. No, thank you so much for right. talking to us. Thanks, Mom. We'll call you later. Thank you. All right, bye. <laughs>
Mm. As for this key right here, that's gonna let us into the main theater, yeah? Yes, through these main doors. doors. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And it's just gonna be us in here? Yeah. Close down? That's really, really great. Uh, anything specific we need to know? Um, I don't think so. I have some spirits. Oh. <laughs> see if there's any, uh, see if that ghost light works, you know? Maybe turn it off and see, because that's, because did you research a ghost light? I learned a little bit about it, that that's the one thing keeping the spirits, like, at bay. And like not moving things around and causing yes. disturbances. Because it keeps the lights on the theater so that they can perform when nobody's here. So yeah. when it's dark in there, they get really mad. Apparently all the like security systems go off when it's not on. But then when they, when they got it, they stopped going off randomly in the middle of the night. Interesting. Like distracts. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so do you know anything about those tunnels? <laughs> What about now? Ew, is that worth it? Yeah, but I just, it was a bribe for information about the tunnels. Just laughing at me. <laughs> I really did bring you guys bakery items, though. Oh my god, you're so sweet. It's, I'm not that sweet. It's also a bribe. So, information about these tunnels? I really don't know, to be honest. But I'm reading this about thing her. about our resident ghost named Otis. Yeah, I've heard a lot about Otis. Yes. Yeah. Had, Otis was an employee who fell from a rafter after and died decades at, ago. That's why I think you should go up in there. Oh, oh interesting. <laughs> okay, cool. How high up are the rafters? There is high up there. I, oh, so I could potentially fall and also die myself? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty scary, huh? But really, I mean, these tunnels, these tunnels I've heard so much about. I heard there's access underneath this theater that links, like, all around Spokane. It's, they're supposed to. There's potential that the access to these tunnels could be somewhere in here. Could be. You could find them. So how much longer before it's just us in here? About ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yes. And it's all yours. And the sun's going down, too. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm going to find those tunnels. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. All right, brother. Oh, I got the key. Oh, I Hi. just made me to the Fox Theater. She was so cool. She was like, you guys just have fun and don't die. <laughs> Basically. Okay, I haven't seen any of the theater yet, and it's very exciting. We're in this little, like, back area, I guess. Is, what is this, our kitchen? I got all the supplies, okay? I got the bag. I got a whole bunch of spooky supplies in here. I got the spooky box. Sorry. But, Andrew, if we need to come back here, we can. We have all our supplies, all right? If we get too freaked out and creeped out in the theater, we got our little, uh, cover no scared room back here. No scared room? It's kind of creepy back here, actually. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, right. But I think now that I have this, Andrew, it already is feeling a little bit creepy back here. And this is just the kitchen. So now that we have everything we need, including Andrew, I got so many energy drinks. I want to enter this theater like anyone does, like a patron from any time. I want to enter from the front now that it's getting dark, okay? Because it's just us now. I won't do the tongue thing again. That was weird. Oh, did you? Oh. I did like this. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's do this properly. Oh. Fox Theater. This is in place on the Earth's most haunted location in the entire world. Do not enter this place unless you're willing to get scared out of your gourd and see Skeletons Deluxe. Do you see it says all that? No. It does, Andrew, trust me. Wow. That's pretty freaking me out. Do they got a bar attached to this <laughs> Do we have access to that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, let's wait for nightfall.
Oh, no. You didn't have a slam? Is that a joke? I don't know if that cop on camera would have opened the door that was the biggest slam you've ever heard. I can't see you at all. Just already. Hi, what's <laughs> up? Welcome to the Fox. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, this, we thought you'd be creepier than this. <laughs> All right. Dude, you see in this, Andrew? All I, dude, this is weird. What? Filming this is weird. Is it creepy? It's just a giant open space. I can only see what you're putting your flashlight on, but. It's massive. It's like a cave in here. Wait. That's Whoa. Crazy. I'm already thinking about it. No, I thought I saw a ghost. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, that's what I was also thinking about. Oh, right there. Did you really think you saw a ghost? I saw something. Look. <laughs> okay, sorry, what I'm seeing behind you is scary. So we're in the lobby right now, and it's cavernous. I wouldn't say that's scary right now. I think I'm just a little bugged out. But, uh, yeah, let's explore around, huh? Yeah, let me get in. <laughs> Dude, I thought, I really thought. What? Sorry. I really thought. <laughs> I'm the flash. Dude, I literally can't see him. You want me to go into ultra mode? <laughs> Creepy. Bugs Bunny and Star Wars? When's that from? Dude, all these chairs. This is a very big place. I think we're breaking into this. Oh, yeah. It's too dark. I can't see you at all. Can you see me? Oh. <gasps> Who did that? And you gotta go turning off your camera. <laughs> the, the other camera. This wiki cam? Turn it on. So wiki cam activated. Who said that? Alright, okay, you got a plan here. Ghost detector on. This lobby has these massive steps. I wanna go up there and see what's on uh, what's upstairs. Okay. That's the plan. Remember, wherever your flashlight is is really all I can see. <laughs> all right, all right. Careful, don't trip. That's very pretty. Oh, you're rattling. Who's rattling? You got like 25 zippers like rattling right now. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a little spooky upstairs. Ooh, it does feel very cold right here. But what about windows? <laughs> In an ice machine, I think. <laughs> Dude, I, I get it. If there's a bunch of folklore around this place, I get it. Folklore? Yeah, like, if I don't know, if there's, like, stories about it being haunted or if it's really haunted, I understand. I mean, I don't think anything that creepy has happened yet, but... Well, what's up there? I don't know. Okay. Wait, what if we take a peek? <laughs> That's locked. Okay, this is some kind of women's bathroom. <laughs> Andrew, I never go into women's bathrooms because I can not allow. What if we go in there? <laughs> what if the women's bathroom's haunted? Come here! Oh, Andrew, it's closed. <laughs> Three women. Get out, pervert! <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in a women's bathroom before. Isn't this cool? It's so much nicer than guys. Because Andrew and guys' bathrooms, it's all wet everywhere. That's true. Wow. But women don't understand. They need... Okay. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about how women don't understand that bathrooms need to be wet. And I was... I was going to turn on the faucets and that's stupid. But I don't think so. I think I'll go lead out, out of here. Why is it locked? Oh, because it's out of order. Okay, sorry. Let's go. Good thing we... Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Was that you? No. It sounded like some sort of lotus. Weird. How long did insects? You know what? The ghost detector just went off when I thought I wanted to see that right there, which is called the Betty Wheeler balcony. Oh, I want to see. <laughs> My little guy's going crazy. That's not yeah, that's crazy. That's going off. 
Yeah, it never goes off this much. Okay. Bro, we just got big silent. That's creepy. I will say, it feels very scary right now. Unexpectedly so. The smell is crazy. Well, it feels like stepping back in time. That's what I'm saying. Okay, hang on. maybe we just look around the corner. Maybe we just look around the corner, okay? Oh, wow. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, sorry, Andrew, I burped in and smelled like energy drink, huh? Oh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, I see the ghost light down there. Is that it? Yeah, that's the ghost light. So that light on down there, they said that they installed that when they were having like things go missing, like alarms going off, and all this crazy stuff happening. Because apparently that keeps the ghosts like happy. So I say, let's go turn that off. Dude, when I said I'd turn it off, that happened. I'm gonna turn off the ghost light. You sound crazy. Maybe they want that. Maybe they want to roam free and do whatever they want in here. They want that ghost light off. I can feel it in my bones. Or I want it off. I can't decide. <laughs> Let's figure out how to turn it off. It was so dark in there, but Andrew, that's what I want to do. In order to make this place come alive, I'm gonna go kill that ghost light. I think down here is to get to the theater. Where do you think that even goes? Let me see. What's that? What do you think that does? <laughs> How's it scraping the elevator? <laughs> it's an elevator. Oh. Where do you think it's gonna put us? Ooh, it opens up into some sort of other place. They're gonna put us right back where we were. Oh, probably. Damn it. Bro. What are you? These actual back rooms. What the hell? What is this? Well, I don't wanna go down there. What is that? First Avenue. Uh, that's a street. We don't want that. Let's go back into the haunted elevator that I say is haunted because nothing that scary has happened yet. Sorry, this place is the labyrinth. I'm as lost as you are haunting this right now. We don't know where we are. Yeah, that's crazy. What? What'd you hear? I heard that. What? What did you sound like a voice? It's a wheel. Could have been the elevator. Wait till we turn the ghost light on. Off. Off. Ugh, why is my zooming in the dramatic effect and you stuttered? Ew! Oh, the street. Alright. Oh, okay, here we go. This looks like the right direction. <laughs> What's this? Where are they? Is that Otis? Oh. Dude, that's oh. scary. Bro was looking at you, man. I really shouldn't have kissed that. So many people have probably touched that. And I think I'm already getting sick. Where's the theater? I just want to see the... I gotta turn the ghost light off. Okay.
they say keeps this place cold. I'm just gonna unplug it. Oh, or I steal the light bulb and I put it in my place. No, I'm joking, I won't. Careful, Andrew, don't fall off the stage. I love when Andrew has like the like the camera when it faces him because I always oh I don't know if anyone else does this when they're watching the videos but I try to like look because Andrew always gets his name called out or like it's touched or something it's always Andrew so I want to see if he'll get called or something appears. I always want something to appear behind him. Because the way his camera looks, it looks scary that, ooh, someone's going to pop up. But this place looks fucking huge and it's fucking beautiful. I would, I would love to see this. Ugh. I would love to see this in person instead of a video. <laughs> but, ugh, beautiful. Oh, but, wait, no. That's what we gotta kill. What light? This. This is the ghost. Holy. What was that? What did that sound like in the headphones? Like a. someone stepping over here? Turn off the ghost light. It's like they're reacting to it right now. Wait, that was actually crazy. What was that? What was in here? Either they don't want to turn it off. What is this? Oh. I think that was one of the former performers. That's a decoration. Well, bear, just to hang them up like that. I think that's a uh, Halloween decoration. It can't be my like target or something. This place is. <laughs> oh, because it may be a gift for me. Mm, no. All right. Ghost light. You're mine. I'm unplugging it. Because this is the light they say. Oh, I've said it so many times, sorry. Alright, this is apparently what keeps this place safe. Do you guys want that off? They're gonna get so pissed. He's gonna get the reaction. Otis. Wants. Otis, my guy. Ooh, make a little sound for us. If you want. I'm like waiting to hear Your something prerogative. <laughs> like, come on. I feel like the ghosts are wanting me to do my favorite Amy Winehouse karaoke song on the stage. Doubt it. I feel like that's what they're telling me. Really doubt it. No, I feel it in me. I think someone's making me do me. She best they're like, shut <laughs> up! <laughs> oh. All right, sorry. Let's this go backstage right. a little. Backstage. I'm not gonna stop being like this. I'm gonna hold this second here. Wait, what was that? Wait, 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 wait. They're like, shut up! <laughs> wait, who was that? All right, hold sorry. Up, Let's go backstage a little. I did hear something. Wait, 
come out here and be and, and be really quiet. That's really hard for me to do. You think we can get up there, Andrew? Like all the way up there? Like up on the catwalks? Because they said that's where they say Otis fell from and died. I don't know how we would do that. Someone told me that that's where some of the sickest activity is, is like up there where Otis hangs out. But I'm gonna try to find the tunnels first. Finding the tunnels? We're right Yeah, okay, okay, maybe it's this first. Well, hold on, do you wanna find the, you're probably not gonna find the Andrew. tunnels anyway, right? I'll try, but I'll try. But I really need to go up here as well. What's? I have to pee so bad. Oh. Are you okay here on your own? I don't remember the bathroom is after run there. I peed like four times. No, Andrew, please, the energy drinks are going through me. Are you okay here on your own? Do you know how to get back here? Yes, and I'll get back here. I think I know how to get back here. I'll figure out how to get back here. I can find a map. I'll be right back, okay? I have to go. Okay. I'm gonna pee my pants in. Oh God, what is that? All right. And this is where shit's gonna start happening.
stay a few steps behind me because this is a tight squeeze. Alright, I don't, dude, I'm okay. Damn, these are steep steps. It did sound like I just heard a footstep. I'm looking for a secret tunnel entrance. <laughs> okay, I just said I heard a footstep, so yeah, that's fine. Jesus. Not to be insensitive, but how the hell did you fit through there? Andrew! I'm just actually wondering. I don't think I could fit through here. I know, can you believe all 120 pounds of me got through this? What's up? Oh, I think, uh... Um, alright, dude, sorry, I'm too distracted to think about... Slightly off, baby. Well, I just think that we... Is that kilograms? Is I that... think that we're in the middle of a haunted location. We don't need to go back and forth about scales and stuff. The hell is that? What is that? Where, where did I see a ladder? Oh, there. What? What? Did we go up here in front of the tumbles? Um, oh, shit. Oh, it's just the catwalk, Andrew. Like the first part of it. Oh, oh God. But I think it goes up a lot higher. Like a lot higher. Oh, what in the hell was that? Dude, dude. No, no, no. No, I heard that. That was, that was... That? Is that what you heard? They say... Why is my face so red, dude? I think it goes punch me. <gasps> right in the cheek. Sorry. It's okay. Did you hear that? No, actually. Yeah, of course. Also, not. you ignored me when I said I heard a actual footstep right there, so you're too busy looking for your tunnels that you're never going to find. Also, why would the tunnels be up here? <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe you'll find it in the basement. Is there a basement? I hope so, Andrew. I hope there's a basement. You know, I love it. Let's go up higher. Was, dude, that was like. Beep, boop. That's, well, when you turn off the ghost light, it leaves them free to perform in the theater. <laughs> what the f- Did you hear that? Was that you? No, Andrew, I promise it wasn't- oh. Wait, that, was it, that wasn't your hand on the railing? I promise you, no. Oh, it sounded like a little- My f the fan's off now. I didn't turn off the fan. Oh god. I don't know when that happened, but I didn't do it. Shit's happening here. Shit's happening to me. Camera's making a weird noise. Yeah, that's because it sounds like something's. I'm gonna say it dead ass up there. Hmm. What are we doing? Let's go higher. You gotta explain, like, the, what's okay. the lore of the catwalk. So the catwalk is, like, what is... <laughs> again, theater kids watching this, forgive me. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, in this case, it's probably, like, 120 feet above the stage. And they say this is where Otis fell from and died, the guy who haunts the theater. We follow in his footsteps. That was, that's not what I'm planning on. This is actually incredibly dangerous. Are you serious? Oh, very. Let's go. Whatever. Bro. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Yo, my fear. Whoa, whoa. Heights. My fear of heights is coming in strong. Dude, I'm crawling. There's probably a. Bro, I just heard. No, 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 hold on. I just heard like a squeak, but like. Ooh. What the Dude, what the hell? Wait, are we gonna like. Bitch, I thought I heard a home. Huh? I thought I heard a home. Dude, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, Look how high this goes. Whoa, was that you? No, Andrew. 
I'm just standing still. Dude, I'm getting dizzy and scared. I don't even know how to film this. We are not supposed to be here. Like Bro. What? The, the, more, the more, the higher we go, the more I'm hearing stuff. Then let's go higher. I'm sweating my ass off. I'm also sweating my ass off. Something scares us and we get startled. Whoa. What's that? Dude, I am literally so scared. Call the fire department. <laughs> Dude, no, 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 no. Well, I'm not walking in there. Andrew, look below us. You see? Oh, it's creaking so much. Literally, I hope you can take my weight limit. I'm not kidding. I can't even see it. Oh, it's death if we fall. What's this way? Well, we can't walk on this. Hold on, dude. Oh my god, you're gonna block me. Back up. Back up. Oh my god. Sorry. What is in here? <laughs> oh shit. I shouldn't flash that in there. Holy shit. Let's go. What the fuck was that? What was that? Oh my god, if I got locked in here. Dude, oh my god. No, there's a cord. There, no, there was something blocking the door. Uh, yes, it was. That's no, why that was gonna, there. It's open. Oh my god. We're okay. What in the hell is all this? Oh my god, oh, I hate this. Andrew, look at how far down that light is. That orchestra light. Dude, that would be so sad if you fell right now and I had to watch you die. It's 100 degrees and we're 1,000 feet up here. Are we sure I can't walk on that wood? Dude. This is like one of the most sketchy things we've ever done in a video. Like, actually, like life or death weird stuff. I got, dude, I got, I'm sweating. See if there's anybody up here. Let me go in my spooky box, Andrew. Sp box. Spooky bag. Got some stuff. Oh, dude, it's so scary up here. Jesus, I'm realizing that if I fall, it's over. Like death. The way I'm at, the fear is kicking in. Real fear, like death fear. Okay, I'm okay. Don't throw a cap all over there. Someone could trip on it. Oh, you're right. I'll save it for later. Yeah. Dude, my neck hurts. I don't know why. You feeling that? Like a pain in your neck? Why would that be the case? Okay. You want to do a haunted investigation or something? Wait, move your flashlight around. I can't see anything. Where is... Oh, oh my Wait, God. Wait, what the hell? Wait, where are we right now? Dude, what is this? This is my heart rate. That's my question. 135. <laughs> So I'm just too scared to do anything. Who? Oh. oh, is you up here, bud? Oh, right there, face detection. Seriously, randomly just popped up right there. No, nope, disappeared. Otis, stop playing with us. Otis. You hear that? You hear that? I'm gonna turn this, uh, you have a flashlight? Yeah. This is very scary. It's very, very scary. Oh, oh dude. Oh, my God. People do not understand how high this is. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's scary. Otis, stop playing with this. You crinkling shit? <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my light. Kill my life for just a second. Keep filming. Oh God. Otis, lights are off. You want to say hello? Okay. Let's get back down. I'm gonna. I, I'm scared for my life, dude. I'm so afraid right now. Did you get that? I am so afraid of heights. Oh my god. Andrew, be so careful, dude. I'm serious. Be so careful. If you slip, it's over. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I am afraid of heights. 
Wait, this I is like way scarier going down. It's so much scarier. Mm. So steep. <sighs> Jesus. How far down we gotta go? I need to sit for a moment. You need a fit crunch is what you need. What do you see? Tunnel entrance! What the f- Dude. It was like out of a movie. <laughs> Tunnel entrance? Where's that? It's so windy. Wait, well, it did get windy. Oh, someone back there? No, oh, right there. What is that? Ew, this looks like a man. Uh, yeah, it took you like a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Dude, this place is breaking me physically. I feel crazy in here. Oh my god, that made me so hungry. Crunch for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was. Wait, what even made that noise? It's insane. What was it? It was a computer. Like someone trying to talk to us through it's a like radio? A walkie talkie or something. Well, that's like old technology. Do it again, say something to us. Wait, was it the phone? Is that Otis being cheeky? Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's go. Dude, Andrew, let's go sit. I need to sit. I need to sit. My legs are jelly, dude. Wait, is that an egg look like? Like a street? Andrew, look this way. This looks quite tunnely. Are you getting tunnel vibes from that direction? Yeah, kind of. Oh, there's dressing rooms? Dude, people say they hear voices all the time in the dressing rooms. No, that's not giving me creeping vibes. Wait, what the hell was that? Nothing on me makes that noise. Okay, we'll that crazy sound. Huh? They're just little dressing rooms. They're creepy, but I'm looking for tunnels, baby. The admissions. Oh, what's this? Okay. No tunnels. I need to sit for a moment. Oh my god. And they're coming for you in J10. This is what I wanted to do to relax. You got an audience if anyone wants to perform. I don't think this place is haunted. <laughs> I think it's just creepy. Wait, 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 you should do that. You should go up to like, you should go up to like the third row and like, whoa! Bro. Jeez. So you should go down there and ask for a performance. this if we're gonna catch anything on camera. Okay. Oh maybe. I'm gonna sit right here. And if the ghost wants to perform again. Andrew, you see the 
this cat ball. Yeah. Can you see it on the stage? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a little distracting if we're trying to listen for sounds. You just... I'll finish it quick. Are you going to ask for a performance? I'm going to just do the rest of your speech. Andrew, it makes him feel more comfortable. People eat in theaters. That's true, yeah. Okay, does anyone want to perform? For a willing audience? Jesus. <laughs> Otis, do something crazy. It's pretty chill. Pretty chill. <laughs> My ghost detector sure has been silent. Yeah. I'm gonna put the motion sensor on the stage, facing the stage. And I'll turn the volume all the way up. Okay, let's see what else we can find in here. But if that goes off, maybe we'll come back and see if anyone's here. Yeah. Stage manager, hold on to your horses. I'm gonna go play with buttons. I don't play with buttons. Oh, wait, my ghost detector's going off. Andrew, dude, look, I think these will turn the lights on. Andrew, go film, go, go film the, go film the house. That's stage terminology. Watch what I'm Did they turn on? Dude, this is crazy. Whoa. Wow. I can't believe it. You bought it up for me. I'm just a YouTuber. Does it look like my dreams are coming true? Yeah, kind of. Theater kid. What's that? You look like a theater kid right now. Isn't that cool? Andrew, I was a theater kid. I was in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I played Natalie, and then I got kicked out because they said I wasn't good at dancing, which is crazy because watch this. <laughs> this is so cool. Do you want to see what I look like sitting in the audience? The ghost detector went off, but I don't care. Um, yeah, I think it's because you were running around the stage. Can I be honest with you? I don't think the Fox Theater is haunted. Yeah. Dude, 
There's a diner close by, though. I get a feeling when I go into places. I've been a little creeped out up here and I was scared for my life up on the catwalks. A couple little creepy things, but I'd say the Fox Theater haunted rating, 2.1 out of 10. But it does give me an opportunity for something that I, that I could do. I could actually accomplish my dreams, Andrew, because I was in so many different plays in high school. Well, two, and I got kicked out of them both. So I could finally do something that I've always wanted to do, perform in a theater. So go on, Andrew. This is going to be amazing. Uh, 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 inspiring music, please. This is gonna be amazing. Look, when will I ever have a house like this again? Go on, Andrew, make yourself comfortable. I'll show you something that you've never seen before. The ghost detector going off? The ghost detector. The ghost detector's going off like crazy. Maybe this is what they want at performance. Whoa. It keeps on going off. The ghost detector keeps on going off. I think this is what they want. Okay, get comfortable. Watch this. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the way. I'll move it, don't worry. You've never seen anything like this. You ready for me? Uh, sure. Get, make sure you got front row seats. Um. <coughs> The world's greatest gymnast! Gary yeah! Watch is coming to the end! Here he goes! He's gonna do the thing! One, two, three! Can't see you! Can't, huh? I can't see you. Well, look! I... Was that nice? Um, no. Do you need better seats? I can't see you. You gotta go more to the right. Can you see me now? More to the right. Back, back? Yeah. Okay, watch this. Wait, where are you? Ask for an encore! Encore! Oh. Encore, oh. <laughs> Alright! You asked for it! You guys want me to hit the gritty? <laughs> I said you want me to hit the gritty! I'm going to go! Alright, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are we... Did we just give up on, uh... All of the haunted lore and the locations and the projector room and the cold spots on the stairs and looking yeah. for the tunnels and... Yeah, there's no tunnels. I don't think any of that's real. The place seems pretty chill. I just think maybe a diner's the vibe. What the fuck was that? I think I threw my back out. Yeah, I saw it. <sighs> I'm hungry. Can you look at me going? You are getting on. Let's go, Andrew. I want to eat cheese sticks. Oh, that's so good. Bye, Otis. I don't think you exist. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's so good. Look at that. Pinocchio. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you.
You know, I think after experiencing the Fox Theater for as long as I have, I just think that maybe there's no ghosts in here. And sometimes that happens, Andrew, when you're a ghost hunter. Because what did we do? We explored the lobby. Nothing creepy happened out there. I called Otis's name, asked him to present himself. Nothing happened. Killed the ghost light. Didn't he get and get any ghostly entertainers? Went up on the catwalk. What happened up there? You just got really scared. Got really scared, wobbly knees. No cold spots on the stairs, really. No musical performers. I walked past, like, all the dressing rooms and stuff. Didn't get any, any creepy impressions at all. The only thing that happened is when I went to pee, the door went this, like, went that, like, went like that a little bit. But you weren't even there for that. It's and funny. I think that's just because my ass hit it. Yeah. Probably the hinge. Probably just... But the Fox Theater is beautiful if you ever spoke in. Y'all come to the yeah. Fox Theater. Although it's not haunted. That's my official assessment. Oh, but the performances were cool though, huh? What? Oh, yours. That'll save the video. Yeah? Remember those? I don't think we should show those. I that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, that's, that will really affect the old digital footprint. <laughs> oh, wait. There is one place that we didn't go into. Where? I'll handcuff myself to it. The projection room. The last test of the Fox Theater. Fox Theater, I will handcuff myself in the projection room. And if you don't do anything spooky, you are getting a zero out of zero haunted rating. Projection room is right there. Oh my god, and no underground tunnels. I looked everywhere, even up there. <laughs> yeah, that didn't yeah. make sense when I did that, yep. did it? Final test, Fox Theater. Is it locked? No. We gotta get in there. We got nothing. We got nothing, but I've got a key. Oh, this yeah. work. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Get it. Let's get in there. It's gonna be the freakiest as hell. Get in there. The freakiest thing you've ever seen. Are you putting it in the slot properly? Yeah, I'm putting it in the slot properly. No, you probably. Got... No. I don't break the key though. Oh, you gotta... Let me just hear if it's haunted. I'll try the other side. Oh, it is open. I need to get my handcuffs. No. See how haunted it gets in here. I should have been filming you from in here. Yeah. That's where they film people. There's a bunch of computers. <laughs> Angel, look. Don't mind if I do. I've had a little cough. <laughs> Ricola? Oh, thanks. You're awesome. Smells very strong. Why would you do that? Oh. Is it, what's scary is what my dentist will say after that. I think you cracked a. How can you that's push a that? It's like, dude, it really feels yeah. like a tool. You look, you, right what? now, you look like the scariest thing we've seen all night. <laughs> stop it. Whoa. I'm just stop it. This is a dark room, Andrew. This place is not scary. Let's go. <gasps> we tried. We gave it everything. Brother. <laughs> We're not going to try to make something scary that's not scary. We've been to haunted locations, brother. We've been to haunted locations. This ain't it. Beautiful, not scary. Please, please, for the love of God, can we get a grilled cheese sandwich? Oh, grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. Oh, 
Whoa. And mac and cheese. Oh, whoa. I'm doubling up on the, on the cheese there. Well. <laughs> that, oh, we climbed all those stairs. We worked it off. I am sweating. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Oh, yes, we got the grilled cheese, and it was incredible. And we sat there, Andrew and I, and processed everything that we had just discovered in the Fox Theater, which you now know. Now you know what I was talking about early on in the video when I said that there's something about this video that's very unusual for this channel. A first for this channel, I believe I said. And that's what I meant, is that we spent overnight in a haunted location that kind of maybe wasn't that haunted at all. <laughs> and we had to discover that for ourselves. But here's the thing about hauntings. I don't think they last forever. What I give it like a two. It's like like it was a minimal haunting. I think there might be a couple spirits left in there, maybe, because the instrument thing was kind of weird. There were a couple strange sounds, a couple moments where I was like, oh, a little, a little spooky. I think the place probably was very haunted through its original lifespan. I do. Like from the 1930s to the early 2000s. I think the renovation changed something. And as for Otis. I didn't feel Otis. I don't know. I didn't vibe. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Otis was in there, you know? I think the haunting of the Fox Theater exists nowadays as this sort of like historic element with maybe like a couple ghosts drifting around in there still maybe. <laughs> But yeah, I've experienced places in my own life. Well, only once. I won't get into it right now because it's, it's, it's this whole other thing. I've talked about it before, but it's a place from my childhood, which was a day spa that was extremely haunted. And when I went back to visit it as an adult, not at all. Completely normal. So I don't think uh, anything lasts forever, <laughs> including hauntings. Lightly haunted. That's the assessment. Fox Theater is still one of the coolest places in the world, though. I loved doing that and experiencing that and learning. Nice to know that you can have fun even when your ghosts start shoving you over and freaking you out left and right. And it, yeah, it don't come for me about the title of the video. I was overnight in a haunted theater, or it used to be haunted. All right, let's not get into semantics, okay? Not every place can be haunted. But I think moving forward doing haunted videos, I'm going to do a little bit more research and like talk to the employees to make sure that it's actively haunted. I think that, that's probably an important factor. <laughs> I just, it was so legendary. I just assumed it was the most haunted place in Washington, or one of them at least. So yeah, you know, hauntings, like I said, they don't last forever. Speaking of things that don't last forever, how about this new merch drop, which is available on thingsbygarrett.com right now. Not only is this Benjamin Krudak available for order right now, but a couple other things as well that are terrific. All of them inspired by this. <laughs> So yeah, there's this crew deck available right now. And then one of my favorites, which you saw earlier in this video, is the uh, Don't Mess With Benjamin 90s crew neck, which is just a real good time. You see, I'm a big fan of the 90s and stickers, and, and <laughs> also the, tel the Teletubbies are really funny to me, so a lot of inspiration from 90s stuff that I love went into this. And then I realized that not everyone is inside 97% of the time. Some people go outside in the sun. So there's this delightful, sort of slightly vintage style, 1970s chic Benjamin Ringer tee, which I just adore. There's a drop over there right now. It's not going to be available for that long. I think it's like a two-week window, so go grab something while you can if you want over at thingsbygarrett.com. It's a fun place. Check out Unhinged Mode on the website. The website gets real weird. All right, you know me. I love to end my videos with a question because I love talking to y'all in the comments very much. And I, there's receipts. Look at the comment sections of my videos. There's probably over a thousand responses from me because I like talking to y'all. My question for you, I'm really excited about this one. Okay, listen, there's not many opportunities on my channel that I'm gonna ever get to ask you this, okay? A lot of you might not know this about me, but I am a huge huge mu musical theater nerd, like crazily so, okay? It's like a whole side of me. Oh my god. My favorite musicals in the world are probably like Sweeney Todd, and it's anything Stephen Sondheim, and like Next to Normal. I really like this one from 2016 called She Loves Me with Zachary Levi. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm a big musical theater. Oh, Great Gardens! Oh my god, there's so many great musical. Moulin Rouge! <laughs> Yeah, I can talk musical theater for like 17 hours straight with very few breaks. My question for you is this, and you can tell me whatever you want in the comments, but if you want to answer something, what is the best thing that you've ever seen in a theater? Okay, be it a play, or a musical, or anything. Hey, you could just, you can kind of, not cheat, but you could just tell me like your favorite movie that you've seen in the past few months. Okay, I'll tell you mine, it's Furiosa. <laughs> But answer it however you want. Favorite musical? Favorite play? Whatever. What's your favorite thing you've ever seen in a... Oh, watch me spin around. Oh, speaking of me doing tricks, I'm really sorry about the last section of that video, what you guys... What, what you all had to witness. That is heartbreaking for both you and I. We're in it together. I still feel it in my back, by the way. No, that's... Yeah. Not doing so great. <laughs> 
Um, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you to uh, Fox Theater, by the way. The Fox Theater in Spokane is an incredible place. Uh, don't go there for the most haunted place you've ever been to in your life. Go there for a little bit of hauntings, but go there because it's an absolutely amazing, magical place, and it's extremely rare, and please go support it. Highly recommend. Check it out if you're in the area. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Fox Theater. Thank you, Rocket Money, for sponsoring this video. Rocketmoney.com slash Watts. It's great and helps my brain with money because I'm bad at numbers. Just thanks always to my boy, Andrew Swicky, and one of my closest friends in the whole world. I love this man so much. Thanks for always being down to come along on adventures with me and potentially die. We could have died from falling. It was very scary, actually. I'm so glad I'm alive. Or am I? Maybe I've passed away. <laughs> this is how I'm spending my afterlife. Oh, God, I'm going to go into an existential crisis. Okay, bye, love you. Thanks for watching. See you. Be good. Thanks for Garrett.com. Check it out if you want. Whatever. I don't even care. I do. I care. <laughs> kind of. All right, love you. Thank you so much for watching. Be good. See you next time. Oh, uh, it was this, I think it was this one. No, it was the one before that I was watching. But, um, that's a first, that is a first, because when they do videos, it's, they always, like, like, on a go, it's like, boom after boom after boom after boom. <laughs> so, see, doing this position is weird, but, oh god, um, that was overnight in the haunted theater. There was some hauntings, I can say that. But, yeah, it wasn't that haunting. But it was a very beautiful place. It, it is very beautiful. I do like it. Um, I think if, since he's into the theater, I feel like he should, like, come down to Phoenix and, like, I forgot the theater's name. I forgot, I'll, I'll look it up. But this is haunted theater. If I do find it, I'll put it down below. If I don't, then there's nothing there. But <laughs> or I forgot. Um, but I want I want to go to Washington. I have a friend who lives in Washington, and so I would love to go visit down there and see this or any of the haunted places that they they shown. That would be cool. Be amazing. But I love this. Um, it felt weird not having them like interact with things. Because again, they always get like a very normal activities. I'm crazy. I'm surprised that I got activity up here, to be honest. I'm, I was surprised I got like boom, action here, and stuff like that. But it was weird because they always get something, especially with Andrew. Andrew always has like his name getting whispered or he's getting touched or something. So it felt, it felt weird that it was just like nothing going on. Pretty calm. But all in all, it was a, that was a good video gorgeous place i'm hoping uh garrett finds more haunted places because um they do a lot of that especially a theater Ooh, if they could find like another an another theater that's haunted in washington or los angeles they could also come in phoenix phoenix has a lot of haunted places i know that and i'm planning to go ghost hunting again oh <laughs> But <coughs> I got my partner stuck into it, so now he wants to go. Uh, uh, they want to go do all that stuff. So this is so crazy. I do want him to do an investigation with Sam and Colby. He has met Sam and Colby, and I want him to do a video with them because <coughs> that would be dope. Oh God! <laughs> but I'm gonna wait. To the next one, the next haunted thing goes up because I, I always get excited when it's like a haunted video. I'm not saying the other videos are bad; those are good. Go watch them. Except this one right here, I, I, I've seen. I got fired from the the fact that fucking <laughs> loved it. I love this one. I love this one. This one. This one's cool too. This one's good. I like this one. Um, I will say the most haunted place they gone to. Oh, I forgot what it was called. Hold up, hold up. We got this. Shh, shh. We got this. Winchester's house. Winchester. No, not from Supernatural, man. Not Dean and Sam Winchester. Just the Winchester house. This one. Um. Yes, I finished the video. I was kept. I kept going back and forth trying to figure out um different hauntings and trying to listening to things. But this one was my favorite. Oh, this is the one. This is the haunted hotel. 
this was the one where, um, yeah, because this, yeah, it was that one, it was that one, it was that one. This was the one where I had an activity happening to me. Yeah, because it was this one. I was having a weird activity happening to me, and it was so weird. Again, me and my partner were watching it, and it was like crazy. And we decided to be a little high after that, because why not? <laughs> Probably not gonna fuck me over. But, <laughs> absolutely loved it. I loved it. Go check out the rest of the videos. I, I finished this one too. I, I kept going back and forth to look at it. But, I know because I was watching this. <laughs> but, watch this. Freaking watch this. Like, the haunted ones, go watch them. It's so insane. You'll understand what I mean when they're like, they always get something, and then this one is like a more of a hi, I'm here, but I don't want to be bothered, basically. Basically, what these ones are like, you're here, I'm here, I'm gonna screw you over. This one was more like, I'm here. Mm. It kind of like, it was more like a, well, we're here, I guess we're perform for you. I'm kind of tired, because I, I feel like eventually spirits do get tired of doing the same thing over and over and over to the point where they're just like, they just walk around a room, or they become like what we do. We basically lounge, be lazy, and be like, I feel like that's what goes on in the spirit sometimes when it's like this, but I hope you enjoy the video. I hope I can react to more haunted videos when they come out from Garrett. And yeah. Also, we are around the corner for a hundred subs. So if you like this video, like and subscribe because we're at almost at a hundred. And if we get to a hundred subscribers, I'm gonna let one of y'all pick a Pokemon tattoo. Um so Basically, whoever has the most, well, whatever Pokemon gets commented the most, or has the most likes, I'll figure it out when we get there, okay? But, let's get to 100. Because that would be kind of cool if I could get to 100. <laughs> but, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye!